Hello and welcome to the updated cardiovascular medication section of the pharmacology course for pharmacy technicians. So as an overview, we have it laid out. The introductory module for uh, this section starts at week three and contains, as you wished, the general, keeping the general course overview so students are aware, the general description, and then I updated the roadmap slightly since this is broken out, and now if we click on it, it should contain the updated just for week three, so students can see that in addition to their pharmacology course, they have these other two areas to focus in on this week. And then I also laid it out to match what uh, is now in the section. So instead of just being this one giant module that they listen to, it is broken out into all of these different medication classes as we've discussed, uh, and has a knowledge check or quiz at the end as we discussed. So if we make our way through, and this is reviewing it in the student version, um, I've inserted into a video from the Khan Academy uh, that has the introductory system that the students can watch at their pace. Not necessary, but is beneficial for them. And then each module is laid out the same. We have our antihypertensive section, which um, has our drug tables, our patient cases, which are used in the lesson, Quizlet, and then it asks the class section. So all are this way. Currently, since I'm still waiting on feedback from you, Matt, um, I haven't integrated in uh, the modules completely, except for thrombolytics, just so you could get a feel of what this is like. So if we click on this, it may take a minute to load, um, but this uh, Articulate 365 um, storyline module is in the thrombolytics lesson. So if you want to see how it's going to look in D2L Brightspace for us, uh, it will be here in this one. Uh, the other ones are currently links because, again, I'm still waiting on some feedback and some updates from you. And uh, it's laid out this way because we're starting with our most common set of medications with us our module one. And uh, goes all the way down through our um, last section, which is broken up. They have as an easy place for study materials. They have all the drug tables and patient cases without answers, so they can quiz themselves. They can utilize this and reference their notes back um, to make sure. And then when they are completed, uh, we do have this quiz section at the end, which you would get report for and grade the students on, and that's limited to a one attempt thing. And you can use that for our class discussions when you guys do meet on uh, every other Thursday. And so this is the proposed section. Uh, I hope it works very well for your students and helps them chunk out the material uh, and understand it at an easier and a better pace.